This is a Squire Classic Vibe 50s Telecaster in Butterscotch Blonde. Looks amazing. How does it sound and perform? Let's find out. All right, hi, I'm Landon. This is Lando 27 Music. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and click the like and turn on notifications for other videos. If this is your first time, check out my channel, welcome. This is gonna be a full walkthrough, like a deep dive of Fender's Squire series, classic vibe, 50s Telecaster. This is a 2019 made in China model that I purchased on my own. This isn't a demo that's given to me or a free sample or anything like that. So. I'm free to say what I want about it. This line of guitars is aimed at somebody that's looking to spend a little bit less on a Telecaster. It's loaded with really cool features. And the point of this video, it's gonna be broken down in a number of sections. Take a look at the timestamps. We're gonna go through everything. This is gonna be a super deep dive. First section, we're gonna walk through the guitar. I'll just do a quick overview of the guitar and then we'll go into like a, a deep close up of all the, uh, the specs and all the parts. Even the insides, we'll, we'll rip out the guts and take a look inside. After we look at everything that this guitar has, we will get into some tone samples, play through all the different pickup combinations, and we will play through a musical mix too, like a song or something. And at the end of the video, we'll give a summary and my pros and cons, so stay tuned to the end. Also, if you're interested, check out a previous video I did on the Squire Affinity series, also in Butterscotch, should show up in the cards. I'll have it in the description as well. All right, so let's get into the specs. All right, let's just do a quick walk down through the guitar and take a look at all the specs. So we've got vintage style tuners. Uh, as I mentioned, this is a 2019 model made in China and it's designed by Fender. It's got a uh, very glossy neck backing and front. Um, going down there, you got the skunk stripe. It's got the Squire, Squire neck plate. The body is made of pine. It's got a beautiful grain, if you can see that. That's showing up there. I think that's showing up pretty well. Looks really great in person. Uh, two single coil pickups. These are Fender Design Alnico pickups. Three-way switch. You got one, two, three. So you got your neck, neck and middle, and then bridge. Two regular knobs. Jack is a, re a normal cup style jack. Three saddle vintage style bridge. So it's got like the edging on it there. The strings are through the body and you can see the ferrules there. Yeah, so pretty much what you'd expect and they're going after a 50s style, obviously that's in the name. So they're trying to get 50 specs on it. So that's a quick overview. Let's take some closer looks. We'll get the weight, we'll go into the guitar and uh, check it out. All right, let's do a quick pass over the guitar again. Have a nice look at it from above. And what we're gonna do in this section is take a scale that I have and weigh it. And uh, shows up in kilograms, 3.672 kilo, which converts to 8.095 pounds. So it's pretty average. It's like an eight pounder. All right, next section here, we're gonna open up the guitar. Just gonna take the strings off here. And I'll show at the end how they're really easy to put back on with these uh, vintage tuners. So this pick guard is a single ply pick guard. It's only got five screws. Makes it really easy to take the screws off and remove quickly and we'll open it up and take a look inside and right away you can see it's full of black cavity shielding paint which is awesome the back of the pick guard is totally covered in foil and here's the uh, neck pickup that you can see all right just putting the pick guard back on now we're going to open up the control cavity and uh, just two screws and once again you can see it's totally loaded with shielding paint, which is awesome. I'm really impressed with the amount of shielding paint they've put in this guitar. And it's really nice and clean inside. You can see the, the wiring job there. And uh, PCB control switch, alpha pots. And uh, yeah, overall really clean inside, really nice. Definitely impressive. 
and uh, didn't expect it to be that nice inside. And I didn't expect that much shielding paint. I don't even think I have that much shielding paint in my player telly. I'll have to go back and compare, take a look. Putting the uh, pick guard back on. It's, uh, again, five screws, single ply. And now the thing that I mentioned before, the great thing about these vintage tuners is they have a hole in the top, and you can basically take the string that's been popped out, and it's holding the shape of the, the, uh, the winds that go around it. And you can kind of just stick it back in the slot and tighten it, and it's super easy. So you can see that there. I just popped it in and tightened it. That's it. Your strings are back on. Really nice. All right, got to see the inside. Let's go over more of the specs. So you can see there's a, a cup, regular standard cup for the, uh, the input or output, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I've already mentioned single ply pick guard, pine body. It's got a gloss polyurethane finish. And um, here's the uh, vintage saddles with the uh, vintage style tray. It's a C-shaped neck. And I'm just trying to get in close here on the, uh, the fretwork. Yeah, just a really clean, nice job done on it here. You can see the uh, shot of the headstock here. And a close-up of the nut. Really nicely cut. Nicely cut nut. Um, yeah, just, it's it's pretty nice. I, that's all I can say. Here's a close-up of the green, which is really, really nice. And uh, I'm comparing that to my, my player tally. It looks better. So here's a close-up of the uh, tuning machines. I didn't mention the uh, the neck is a C-shape. And uh, you can see the gloss on the back. And I mentioned that. It is very sticky. And uh, more shots of the green on the back here. String through body. There's the ferrules. Close-up. Just to see how they were put together. And, yeah. Just one more quick shot from the sky. Sky cam here. And the Squire um, neck plate.
All right, so now this is the part of the video we'll do uh, a little wrap up and my pros and cons. So you got to see the guitar very close up in detail. You got to see the nice fit and finish on it. You got to actually hear it. You got to hear it in a mix. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you thought it sounded like or how it sounded. Did it sound good to you or not? I'm open to hearing all opinions. Tone is a personal preference, so let me let me know in the comments below. Classic vibe, 50s Telecaster. Okay, let's quickly go over my pros and we'll talk about them cons. All right, let's start with the pros. It's got a beautiful fit and finish. Fret edges aren't sharp. Really nice work on the, uh, the frets. Really beautiful grain in the body, which I wouldn't expect from a pine body, but yeah, if you told me that was uh, an ash or an alder, I wouldn't really know the difference. I think it has good tones. Again, that's personal. I liked what I got out of it. It's solid, the build quality. The best way to describe it is you pick it up and you know how it feels when you hold it, right? It feels solid. It feels like it's gonna stay together and you could gig with this, I think. Right, so yeah, beautiful. Um, and it's relatively cheap, I guess. The price isn't that crazy. I think it's $3.99 in the States. Okay, let's get to a couple cons. Not really a big deal, but worth noting, I did mention the gloss on the back of the neck. It is pretty sticky, I'd say. I've seen this on a number of Squire Classic Vibe guitars. The thing with that is you could always sand it down if you wanted to. There are videos on that. Actually, take a look at this one if you want. So another con, in my case, I was lucky. This one is an eight pounder. There are some that I've seen that vary all the way up to nine pounds. So it seems like the pine wood can fluctuate a lot. I'm guessing it's the pine wood that's making the big difference in weight. And as I've seen with other Squire guitars, the, uh, the selector switch, it's a PCB, which I'm fine with PCB. It's more the, the feeling of it. It just doesn't feel as solid as a standard selector switch that you get on like a Fender made in Mexico guitar or, or the American series. So it's definitely okay. It, it might be something that could be worth an upgrade. But overall, yeah, before I got this, I'd heard nothing but good things about them and I can see why. This would be a really cool first guitar. I've played a number of guitars, so going down to this, I mean down like price-wise, I'm impressed with it, to be honest. Because I usually lie. Why do people say, to be honest, all the time? Let me know your thoughts about it. You've probably played one. A lot of people have these. Let me know what you think of these guitars. And that's going to do it in this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, click like. If you did like the video, leave me your feedback below. What do you think about this guitar? Again, check out my other videos of other Squire Butterscotch guitars. I think that's going to do it. That's going to wrap it up. Again, I'm Landon. This is Lando 27 Music. As always, play guitar and have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. All right, let's get this shirt. This shirt. It's kind of a contrast, right? Custom shop and Squire. How do they? How do they work together?